Hey guys, so I'm gonna go through a quick tutorial on how to set up XAMPP and WordPress locally, except not just one instance of it, but multiple instances. So if you're working for websites for clients locally, you can run multiple websites at once without with separate databases. So it's not like a multi-site WordPress site where you have multiple, um, basically a staging site, development site, and live site referencing one database. You have distinctly different sites. So there's this great guide on uh, WP whatever dev um, that you can check out. It, it takes you through the steps, um, but, I, but I, what I want to set up explicitly is um, multiple WordPress instances on one website. So what you basically do is you need XAMPP, which is an alternative with Bitnami. This will not work with Bitnami. Um, if you just Google XAMPP, it will take you to Apache with friends, download it here. I already have it downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and install it. Um, you can install wherever you want. I've got a specific folder right on the root of my... Ooh, Bitnami, why are you doing that? Okay. Um, oh, it's, I guess it's sponsored by Bitnami. Okay, um, so you don't need these and you don't need those. You just need PHP My Admin, PHP, and MySQL Apache. So just a very simple um, stack. Um, I put in my own folder. That I have a folder on my root. Uh, don't learn about Bitnami because we're not using it. Uh, it's gonna install quick. All right, so it's finished now. Uh, it's asking me if I want to start the control panel. Yes, I do. Ch choose your language, English. Um, so now you get this panel. Uh, what I'm basically gonna do is um, click yes to install the service. I'm gonna install the service. Um, shouldn't matter. I'm gonna go ahead and start them. Both, uh, Apache and MySQL. Um, should be good. So to check if it's working, you're gonna go to localhost, uh, and if you see this, then it's working. Um, so good, so we can install that part. Uh, now this is running your LAMP stack. What you basically need to do now is to install WordPress. Um, so as you remember, I installed into dev and then XAMPP. Um, all your, you know, um, HTML, all your documents are going to be inside of the htdocs, so go to dev, uh, example, and then htdocs. And here you're going to basically, depending on how you want to do this, you can have a subfolder or you could just have different sites right here. And I'm going to set up different sites here so I don't have to navigate so deep um, inside of my URL. So you want, I, I like keeping my uh, URLs as short as possible, you know, and then here would be site. I'm going to do a site called Alexi Rom. That is my name. Um, so I'm going to make a new folder called Alexi ROM. It's going to have nothing in it. Then I'm going to take the WordPress um, installation, which you can download at, um, if you just search WordPress download, make sure it's WordPress.org. Um, just grab this zip file. I already have it downloaded here. If you open it, you want to take the contents of the zip file and the WordPress folder. You want to select all of that and copy it over. All right, I just finished unpacking. So this is a bare bones WordPress um, install basically just uh, this is how you manually install WordPress so what you're gonna want to do is go to your WP config file and um, rename a uh, sample and then rename it to just config because we're gonna use this file now we're gonna open uh, WP config and here's where you're gonna create a new database name uh, sorry you're gonna enter your database name your database user and your password here so first of all we have to go and create a database for this new WordPress install so you can do this from the exam uh, dashboard if you go to admin in MySQL. This will open PHP my admin. So what you're going to want to do is create a new database. Um, you should probably name it the name of the site or, or the folder that you just made. I'm going to make it, make it exactly that. Uh, make it Alexiram. Uh, I, I put a DB in front of it just so it's clear. Um, now, you don't need to create any tables, but you do need, need to make a user that has all privileges to this um, database. So I'm going to add a new user. Um, I'm going to call him user and then just the name of the database. You can, if you have your own um, uh, thing that you want to use, you can use that. Um, 
So I'm just going to generate a password because it doesn't really matter. You can put in your own and then generate the, uh, the hash for that. So here goes. You're going to put your password here, copied from here. You're going to put your username here, DB user. And you're going to put your database name here. Now I'm going to say grant that, that's fine, and then we're going to scroll to the bottom and press go. Um, so now this database has one user that has um, admin permissions for it. And now we're going to go to localhost slash alexirom, that's the folder name. Um, and now if, if you're hit with this, you did everything right. If you get error establishing a database connection, you're going to need to check these, make sure they match your PHP my admin. If you did it right, uh, it's going to take you through the WordPress site. Uh, the Word, it's going to take you through the WordPress process. So create a name. This you're creating a new user for your um, uh, don't copy my password. No, Are you, you're creating a new WordPress user. And now you've got a brand new WordPress site. Here it is, um, that's gonna be your site name. So, you create one site, now let's make another one. Right next to the side of it. So this is the one site with the one forward that we just created. Now we're gonna make another one called Electric Scooter HQ. Once again, this is just a blank folder I'm creating within dev, xamp, htdocs, and the folder name that I just made. Uh, same process as before. We're going to go to our download of WordPress, open, open up the zip file, take the contents of it, copy them over. While that's copying, we need to make a new database for it, um, which means going to localhost, php, my admin. Or once again, you could do this um, from the control panel if you click admin. Then we're going to go new database. We're going to say DB electric scooter HQ. We're going to create that. We're going to create that. We're going to go to privileges. We're going to go to um, add a user account. It's going to be called user electric scooter HQ. Say localhost, generate the password. All right, hopefully this copied over. Once again, rename wp-config, open it up. We won't open it with that for some reason. Open it up. Um, so copy the password. Copy, oops, I don't want. Copy the username. Copy the database. Make sure it's saved. And yeah, we'll close that. Um, so now here, just make sure you press creating the user. User has been added. So now we can go to lo localhost slash electric scooter HQ. If you hit this, you did it right. We're going to call it electric scooter HQ same as before install WordPress log in you, you technically don't need to log in okay so here's electric scooter HQ and here's Alexi ROM so these are completely different sites. Just to show you, I'll go and switch the theme of this one. Um, so now, refreshing both of them, there's Alexi-ROM, localhost slash Alexi-ROM. Here is Electric Scooter HQ. So they're two completely different sites with two completely different databases. Um, and you can access your databases here. That's it. That's how you do it. And now you can develop everything within within these two separate folders. Keep them completely separate. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know if you want to hear more tutorials about this sort of stuff. Thanks, guys.